everyone. Today we will be saying uh, Euler's theorem in partial differentiation. How it gets used, well, uh, it gets how it gets applied to homogeneous functions, uh, homogeneous functions in two variables as well as for three variables. Uh, also, Euler's theorem, second order uh, theorem, how we apply it. So we will be going through one by one. First of all, uh, how we apply to the homogeneous function. Sabse pehle, uh, before we go to the Euler theorem, we will try to understand what is homogeneous function. Homogeneous function hota kya hai? Uh, how we will the un understand or identify whether the given function is homogeneous or it's not homogeneous. So we have seen uh, this. Humne school mein bhi humne dekha hai ye homogeneous function decide kar se kar se karte hai. Agar uh, kis koi bhi equation humne dikha diya hai ya to expression equation diya hua hai. So how we check it? We will check with every term, each term, like uh, what is its degree. Okay, so if each of the term has the same degree, then we call it as a homogeneous function. I have taken an example to understand x square plus y square plus 2xy. So if you look at the degree uh, here, for each term it is a 2. So that is the reason we can say that it is a homogeneous function. Now this is how homogeneous function we decided. Now let us go for how we represent the homogeneous function. Here, if we come across that given function is homogeneous function, then while representing, we use this different three different types or three different ways we can say. So, how we can uh, write it here like a0, a1, a2, a3, these are the thing with the constant and x power and y power is getting decreased by 1, 1. So, this is the one way. Second way is like z is equal to x to the power n f of y by x. We can write this way or if you can write z is equal to y to the power n f of x by y. Now let us see the Euler's theorem statement. So what does it say if x if f of x and y is a homogeneous function of x and y of degree n then what we can write x into del f by del x plus y into del f by del y is equal to n into f. So this is what uh, Euler's theorem says. अगर वो भी एक function दिया हुआ है, अगर वो homogeneous function है of degree n and can be any number, then what we can write is x into del f by del x plus y into del f by del y is equal to n into f. F is nothing but the given function. It can be any function which is given to you. Now let's see how we can prove this. So, सबसे पहले हम ये consider कर लेते कि z is equal to f of x and y. This is the homogeneous function of degree n. So, since this function is homogeneous, what we can write is z is equal to uh, x raised to n f by f of y by x. Since it's a homogeneous, this is the way we can write it. We will call it this equation one because we have to use this equation for differentiating. So here I am differentiating this equation with respect to x. So del z by del x. Now I will just simply apply here the chain rule here. So first uh, as per the chain rule first function will be as it is differentiation of second rule uh, uh, second term which is f, de, f dash of y by x and here we have 1 by x over here. So differentiation of 1 by x will be minus 1 by x square. So this is how we will write it here minus y by x square because y as it is it will be there uh, because it will be considered as a constant because you are differentiating with respect to x. Similarly plus now the second term we will be keeping as it is and differentiation of first term which will be n into x raised to n minus 1. So this is simply chain rule I have applied to differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. Now if I will simplify this if you look here this is x to the power n and here if I will see here x to the power 2 is there. So simply since the base is common what I can do it I can subtract the power. So here I subtracted n minus 2 and this minus y is here as a constant so I took it outside. So this became like x to the power n minus 2 into y and f dash of this whole function as it is I kept it over here. Similarly here also I did the same thing. Uh, I just rearranged it and kept it over here. So now this is differentiation with respect to x. Similarly, I can differentiate given function with respect to y. So del z by del y will be 
X, same rule, same way I will do it here also I will apply chain rule and I will differentiate it with respect to y. So, first function as it is x raised to n as it is differentiation of second f dash of y by x into differentiation of this one which is 1 by x because y ka derivative ho jayega 1. Uh, so, that is why I got it 1 by x. Now, if you see here it is a 1 by here it is x and here x raised to n same base is there. So, we can subtract the power. So, x raised to n minus 1 into function as it is f dash of y by x. Now, this is how we got del, del z by del x del z by del y. So, now what we can do it as per Euler's theorem what does it say x into del z by del x plus y into uh, del z by del y is should be equal to n into z. So, n is nothing but the power of of homogeneous function. So, here in, since we already found this value of uh, del z by del x and del z by del y in the previous from the previous slides if you see here we already got these values. So, I just from this thing I took it here and I put it over here. So, these are nothing but the substitution which I did it here for del z by del x and for del z by del y this one. So, after this we can simplify this uh, equation further. So, here uh, if you see here x is the common th uh, thing 1 by x is here. So, we can what we can do is we can take it out common so that it will get cancelled over here x raised to n by 2 ka uh, n minus 2 ka matlab hota x raised to n upon x square uh, and here x raised to n minus ka uh, minus 1 ka matlab hota hai ki x uh, uh, raised to n upon x. So, if you see here this 1 by x and 1 by x is common. So, I can take it out. So, which will get cancelled with here this x and here simply here it will remain here x raised to n minus 1 into this further things will be as it is. Here also after uh, taking 1 by x common left here it will be n into x raised to n function this further function will be as it is. Here function will be as it is we have written here. Now, if you look here this first term and last term is exactly same except the sign here it is negative here it is positive we can cancel it out. So, we will be left with n into x raised to n f of y upon x which is nothing but n into z. Why it is z? Because we have considered the homogeneous function whenever we say that it can be represented as x raised to n f of y by x. So, for this we can we can say as a z because that was the our first uh, thing which we have uh, taken into consideration. So, that is how we have proved the Euler's uh, theorem. Nothing we did it we have considered one uh, z was the given function in terms of x and y. So, we have represented by using x raised to n f of y by x and simply we have differentiated that z with respect to x and y partially and after substitution, uh, substituting we did some simplification so that we got the RHS. Hopefully, you have understood simply we have used chain rule here for simplification nothing else we have done it. Let us take a small break over here meantime you can revise the concept in the next video we will be uh, discussing this more in details.